Oh, this is one of those ones that just, it just goes. Hey everyone, today we're playing Skalak or Skalik or Skalik. Ah, title bar, look at it. That's what, that's how it's spelled. One of them's a C, the other one's a K, you can kind of figure it out. What's that thing? Level select, looks like it. Do I just drag you there? Okay. First level, defeated. Literally never stood a chance because of my undefeatable might. Okay, this is pretty straightforward. Perspective, I suppose? Oh yeah, we're doing like touch tutorials. Straight up match the shapes. Excuse me? Okay, can I combine these together? Is that how it goes? That's an idea. You can combine shapes within each other in order to continue. Oh, you can remove them, okay. That one required some additional feedback in order to contextualize, because it made no sense. Um... Wow. There's some shit to unpack this time. I see that one. You probably go here. Uh-oh. Oh, you go here. Gotcha. Oh, you can actually move them around, but only probably only when they're a 3D uh, shape like this, as opposed to all the flat panels we've seen. Now I've got to physically rotate them so that they face the direction that makes it possible to solve them. Oh my goodness. I see. Here it comes then. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm up for it. I can do that. It is actually relatively straightforward so far. Moderately satisfying, but straightforward. Oh, missed. In fact, they're actually they're actually reusing the shapes, aren't they? There we go. So, the reason why this is a quickie, by the way, I mean, not a quickie, uh, that's just the other channel. Uh, a let's try is because it looked like it was probably full of combinational puzzles, and the kind of puzzles were like, ah, uh, I like to, I like, I have a dedicated puzzle slot in the schedule, technically, but this looked like it's full of the types of puzzles that eventually make me tear my hair out. So, I figured we'd do a, a one off as opposed to the full thing, because I think. I think we'll hopefully get to that point in this at some point where you'll get a hint of that, but I definitely saw some straight-up Rubik's Cube looking stuff going on, and I'd I'd rather not, but I'll still put it out there so you guys can know about it. You guys can all know about it and look into it if you want to. So far, it's kind of a mindless chill-out and fut futz around with the thing game. Oops. Kind of like a puzzle box design, but very straightforward. No. 
there. No, it keeps moving the wrong one somehow. There we go. Oh, wrong way. My God. We can do this. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Where was that X? There it is. How does one make sense of this? Let's see. Oh yeah, I get it. We're fine. Everything's fine. Oh my god. Alright. How? Oh, the whole thing rotates. I was like, how do I make it face this way? Yeah, this time they're not a bunch of separate pieces. Gotcha. I get the feeling this is on phones. And it's probably really well suited for that format. Where you just kind of keep screwing around. Let's see, that one was highly structural, so I think putting that one on first is probably a good idea. These two have to fit somewhere, and then the rest probably fits around them. Does that not fit? Ah, over there. I think that's the slightly better position that makes that work. Yep, there we go. Now we're good to go, I think. Oh no, in that one the seam was still visible. That makes the, that makes the output, the outcome like less satisfying. This thing doesn't rotate. Must be making the wrong assumption about what order- yep, what order are they going? Yeah, it's very important that the seams are not visible and that the whole thing goes really flush, otherwise the output- the uh, outcome isn't as satisfying to look at. I think it's gotta- it's gotta always happen perfectly. <laughs> All right, so we're changing, we're changing formula now a bit. It can't be that one because this one only fits here. This one could go there or there, but that one, that one could also go there or there. Huh. Oh, because you can actually go here. It's actually so bright that it's starting to hurt a little bit to look at. Uh... Nope. I 
think that's the yeah that's the only spot that works so that definitely goes there that can only go there I think and now those are in place this one can only go here this this one can still go in three different places this one can only go here oh this one's here I didn't even see that that has to go here, which means this has to go here. There you go. Just finding the ones that can't go anywhere else is a good start. Oh boy. Okay, for starters, this one has to go here. That means you're limited to just two places. Not, not eliminated down to nothing yet. Ooh, you're a wall one. You have to go here. Yeah. That means you have to go here. You can still go to two places, but you are you both are on walls. They have to fit like this. There we go. Still have three places we can go with with there. Yeah, I think going with trying to find stuff that literally can't go anywhere else is I think is a really solid start now. That is two options. Nope. That also has that. Yeah, they actually have three options and they're both copies of each other. This one has three options. A lot of them have a lot of options actually. This one has two options. Three options. Alright. You actually only have one option, I think. Is that like the only thing that's that narrowed down? It might be. I think everything else has a bunch of options. So my whole strategy is already bunk. Oh well. What could go wrong? Huh? <laughs> ah. Now it's making a bit more sense. Ah, you're a strange shape. Mmm. Is he gonna go in one of two spots? There we go. Oop. Missing a little bit. Oh. Now things are happening. So far it's still just more shape. You're just matching the edges here still. Oh, we're doing dominoes a little bit, aren't we? That's what we're doing. It's like dominoes where you match them. Where would I want to put you? I suppose I could just move you down one. I was tr at first I was confused because everything was consumed, so what, where can I put something if everything's already done? But we had other options. Okay, well this has to be in the middle, right? It's too complicated. There we go. So far, not not a ton of thought put into this. Oh, now they're going on weird corners and crap. Huh. That'll make it weird. That's... yeah, that's gonna make it weird. And these have to fit together? 
Oh, there's also one down here. Okay, no, yeah, there's a, there's other ones. So they, they, they could fit together like this, for example. Yeah, this is... This is hinting at what I was worried about. <laughs> it's not a bad way to make your game. It's just it's, uh... A direction... I don't like to go in. But I think I've seen ones where you're... On the store page, they show you... F oh my god. Yeah, on the, sh on the store page, they show you fitting in complicated things, and then the thing itself, like the structure inside, is also like a Rubik'sing around, and you're rotating the pieces, and I'm like, I... Oh boy. No. No thank you. You're welcome to it if that's what you want, but no thank you. Those aren't even facing the right way. Oops. Maybe up here? Sure. It's so saturated. Oh, oh, here it goes. Oh, here it goes. So these can functionally face any direction. Their starting orientation doesn't even matter because the shape itself rotates, so who cares? Oh boy. Oh, it begins. It begins. Okay, uh, this one doesn't rotate at least? Okay, so we have to start with you. Nothing else has a yellow on top. Are there two diamonds anywhere else? Just here. And the two yellows. This one might be completely linear, actually. I think there's continually just one next thing I can place. Yep. That was just a, a sequence of linear linear matches. Is there any hint of how much content there is in this game? There's the beginning of the game. Oh yeah, you can just straight up recognize these. Oh. It goes on for a bit. Is it I match them together, then I match these together? Yep. So they're, they're establishing the idea that I could, I could create a shape where all the pieces seemingly... Oh man, that's where the Rubik's thing is going to really start, isn't it? If you can manually place all the faces of it, but then you have to rotate them until they fit in that, in that kind of way. Oops. Backwards. Okay, so now we just need to make the shapes match. There we go. What? Uh, uh, uh. Okay, well you can only go here. You could go in two places. No, you can't. Yellow. That means you have to go here. You have to go here. You fit into that. These are pretty satisfying. 
The way they fit cleanly together is nice. Oh no, there's a seam. It's ruining the illusion, the magic. It's all falling apart. How could they? Um. Uh, now that moves right. Oh no! Oh no, it's starting. Why? Oh, okay. Um. Technically works. Hopefully that was the way to go. Oh man. Sure. Any more sides to you? Looks like it's just solid now. Okay. Oh. Oh, I didn't even have to slide it, I tapped it and it just went on its own. Okay. Oh no, you have to move it a little bit, but once you start, the gesture just takes off. I bet I need to slide you up to block the path. This game has ideas. Oh. We have to reshuffle the order. I thought this was going to be a one-off, but I kind of don't want to stop. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if this... I mean, I guess you guys already know. It is compelling. I think I fit them together first, then I put them in an order for the solution. Yeah, okay. Multi-stage solutions. Oh, wow. Okay. Things are happening. So now we have to construct the pieces, then move them in the right spots, which mostly consists of... At least, it usually consists of just sliding them around in the right order or blocking them so they stop in the right spot. More or less like that. Bing. Oh boy. There's that. How do I even get that to happen? Okay, so you need to go... There we go. More or less. Then you slide in and we have a, a solid piece. You still have to get in here? How do I get you around each other though? Wait, no, you're not- wait, no, you're not the right piece at all. But that has to fit together somehow. Where does that piece even ex piece even exist? And this one's crazy. Oh, this thing rotates. That's important to notice. <laughs> it 
crap. Oh, right. That's all I need. Now you're in. Has to be like that. So you have to go here. Got it. Oh my god. Uh, okay, two capital A's. Crossroads. It's like most of a shape. Uh, it has to like bend here. So you go here. Oh no, these crossroads are going to be the end of me. And by that I mean I've already solved them basically. <laughs> or not. Not quite. Hmm. That's the issue, is that that can get back to its base just fine, so everything else can slide around like a crazy piece on the way there. Oops. Ow. We're fine. Everything's fine. Hey, finger guns level. Ow, that was loud. It must be amplified based on how many squares are involved. Oh boy. Um, hi there. What's up with you? That takes care of that. And you have to all be in order, so you have to be in the bottom. I will say there's not a ton to these puzzles. They're like superficially they're almost like superficially complex or multi-stage multi or whatever, but like how much game is left? There's actually a decent chunk of game, to be fair. We're on screen four now, out of five, six, seven, eight. These are not connected. Like, those can fit together. But can I get something in here? Uh, yeah, you need to go there. I think it was giving me the option to rip the piece back out even after it's been split among multiple pieces. I kind of wonder if it would allow me to do it, or if it was going to give me, like, an error if I tried to make it happen that way. Um, what is happening here? You probably go like that. No, that's the wrong one. You go there. Hmm. It's the other end of it that goes there, I think. There it is. There it is. It's extremely hard to come up with anything to say in this game. Uh, because you're 
you are just kind of moving things around till the shapes match up. There's nothing particularly wrong with that either. Oh my god. So it's a large cube where one corner is also a small cube, but only that one piece. Alright, well let's just find everything that matches up with one of the sides that doesn't move. And then we'll, know, we'll have a better idea of what might match up in the sides that do move. That might be all of them. Yep. I can make sense of you. You're not long enough. You must be the wrong one. There we go. Oh wow, that took off. Let's make the correct cube shape in here. Wait, was that it a second ago? Yep, almost skipped right past it. What? There must be blank side. Oh yeah, there's more faces in here. Contained entirely inside the cube. That was a relatively satisfying final thing to do, so I think I'm going to cut it there, guys. Thanks for watching, like always. This has been Skalak. If you want to check this game out for yourself, there's a link to it in the description. I was provided a key by the developer, as per usual. Thanks for watching, like always, guys, and I'll see you next time.